I am living for this. Hi. I love it. Thank you. Now, I am so thrilled you're both here. You're two of my favourite people on planet Earth. Have you ever Hi. met before? <laughs> Sharon, have you met Jack? Jack? Have your paths ever crossed? I met him outside and then he shoved me in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> he does. I am a bit of a bush he shover. He is a bush shover. <laughs> he, he went to that kind of... <laughs> 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 Less salacious in my head. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say. He went Cheers. to one of those oh, sort of yeah. schools. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm very happy you're both here. Thank you for making the effort. This is one of, one of our last ever Late Late shows, and you've both been guests that have been near and dear to the whole team and crew here. And, Jack, I am... I've got to say, seeing you today, I'm very much looking forward... To going home. To seeing you... <laughs> well, yes, to seeing... You know, we are dear friends. Yeah. Seeing you back more in London, I can only imagine you are equally as excited to see me. I mean, I'm, no, I'm very, very excited. <laughs> I know, no, no, oh. no, I know, I need to caveat well, this, OK? <laughs> because I think you, you, I'm so proud of you as my friend, all that you've achieved over here. It was so excited when you got the gig, and, and you've done an incredible job with the show. It's, you know, yes. But, 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 I, I will also add that when you did get this gig and you came over to America, I picked up a lot of work. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of jobs that he had to vacate back home, and I got the gig. I got the Brits. Yes. I got League of Their Own. Yes. I got a lot of your sloppy seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very concerned now that you're coming home that I'm going to be out of a job again. I think you're going to be fine. Leave you're going to be absolutely room. fine. Leave some room for me. <laughs> Leave some Leave. room. Come on. <laughs> he said to me in the dressing room, said, you sure you don't want to stay on another couple of years? You, yeah. sure? you sure about this? Yeah. Now, up. Sharon Stone, I want to talk to you about this. I am so yes. excited about this. Uh, you know, I'm a huge <laughs> fan of yours, and I think all of uh, your entire life, I think, is inspirational. But right now, you just had what your you first... Know? I know a lot <laughs> more than you think. You just had your first solo gallery showing of your paintings, yes. and it's been a huge success. Yeah. And they are amazing. Thank they you. are brilliant. I, this is an incredibly personal thing to do. I think it's one thing to paint. It's another thing to show, show your work. How do you yeah. rate this amongst the <laughs> incredible experiences that you've had in your life? It was pretty terrifying yeah you know i mean this thing came over me where i decided okay now i'm a painter and <laughs> so i started painting in my bedroom and then my kids said you know you're asphyxiating yourself mom like you have to get out of the bedroom and so i had i got a studio and started painting and then i got a show um which is at once thrilling and absolutely nauseating. And so then the day of the show, there was this deluge in It Never Rains in Southern California. Yeah. And so I called the, the studio and said, oh, so no one will come and, you know, we should probably cancel it or do it another time. And they said, oh, no, it's people are really coming and you yeah. better get your butt down here. And then it was because I was just trying to find a way not to, to get go. out of it. Yeah. <laughs> and so by, then my son drove me down and we pulled into the back of the the gallery and it was just packed and people were waiting in the rain to get in and and I thought, "Oh, I, it's time to leave my body now." Yeah. <laughs> and I went into the show just like floating around because it was packed and it was really good and people liked it and we ran out of booze and I just couldn't believe it. It's so brilliant. It really really is the way it's been received. It's and rightly so. It's incredible. Have you ever dabbled in any art, Jack? Um, You're pretty nifty, actually. Yeah, I, I did do a little bit of art when I was younger. Um, I, I was at my school on an art scholarship. Yes. And I used to do portraits, and that's how I earned a little bit of money in the holidays. Uh, what I sort of be, stuff would you draw? I would oh. be commissioned to paint portraits. The weirdest portrait that I painted, I painted my father's best friend's wife's pussy. <laughs> I bought <laughs> cat. Steady, late, late show, please. This is a family entertainment show. <laughs> she had a pussycat, and I was commissioned <laughs> to paint the pussycat. But it was just coming from the rain, right? <laughs> you, it was just coming no, from the rain. It was, not, it was a very dry pussycat, <laughs> James. <laughs> Before you go there, please, James. Not in front of Sharon Stone. Go on. And I, she insisted that I did sittings with her pussy. She had, you had to do sittings yes, with the cat, not a picture. No, I had she to do three sittings. I had to sit in a room stop. for an hour with this cat. And oh, the cat obviously stop. wouldn't sit still, because it's a 
cat. Yeah. And it was running around the room and I was saying, sit, and the, the, that doesn't work with cats because they're not dogs. And it wouldn't sit on the chair. I did three um, sittings with it and then just Googled Sabrina the Teenage Witch and copied that cat. <laughs> and, and uh, yeah, we it's, have it's it. the best job that I have. You Look, have a picture of... A, that is, yes, an that original is the cat. Jack Wilder. <laughs> <laughs> The lightness. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Now, I want to share this, and I hope this is OK, because, Sharon, you've sent... A... At this point, James. <laughs> no, because I really love this. I think it's amazing. I think the net... I, I want to talk to you about it. <laughs> this is a preview of a work that you... I think you've just finished, right? Yeah. You've just finished painting. Tell us about this piece. I think it's so it, beautiful. Well, it's upside down. But, James! <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Tell us about this. I do... I think this is really beautiful. Tell me about this. What, what's, what's it called? It's called Run Over Cat. <laughs> <laughs> it's called A Fine Way to Say Goodbye. That and is so, a and cool. great oh, like name. I and we love are this. And we are saying goodbye to you, so, first of all. Um, I... Um, it's six by eight feet. And oh. it's... Um, a friend of mine bought someone else's house, and she bought the house of a famous actor, and he's also an artist. Mm. And he did so many artistic, so many beautiful things in this house. Left sculptures, left in the garden and by fountains, and just the house was just so personal and left so much gorgeous parts of himself behind in the house. And I painted the painting because I, about the person because I thought that was such a fine way to say goodbye. It's a great name. And I brought it to show tonight because you have that essence, James. Oh, and God. I walked yeah, down yeah. the hall here tonight and I saw the pictures of you at Penny Lane with Paul McCartney and the pictures of you in the car with Mrs. Obama and pictures of you with all the stars and you in sailor suits dancing in <laughs> Times Square and you doing all the amazing things you've done and all the carpool karaoke's that have given us so much joy just on the internet even when we're not at, with you at night and all the, all the you that you gave to us in this country and abroad and when you go home, back to your home I want you to know what a fine way to say goodbye. Oh you've my given God. us. You're amazing. You're so amazing. You're so amazing. We'll be right back after this. Bye.